Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Kids Discovery Podcast. I'm Bevan. And I'm Ben. And this week, we're very excited because the topic is... Volcanoes. So, Benny, what is your favorite thing about volcanoes? They're huge. They're huge. And also, a volcano erupting is pretty cool. Yeah. Unless you're close to it. Yeah. Like the 350 million people on Earth that live within the danger range of an active volcano. That's one in 20 people. What's a volcano? <coughs> a volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust through which lava, volcanic ash, and gases escape. Tectonic plates are huge plates on the Earth's surface. Just bumping into each other. And then after things just bump into each other, it becomes a volcano. And volcanoes are usually found on the edge of tectonic plates. On the edge of tectonic plates is where the center of the earth, the magma, can squeeze up through the hole, which is a volcano, and come out onto the surface. Magma is inside the volcano, and when it erupts, it releases lava. It releases lava and gas and ash. There's volcanoes on land and the ocean. I bet you that creates a lot of like bubbles and steam under the water then. It does. Sometimes the volcanoes that are in the ocean grow and grow and grow from all of the eruptions that they become islands. Whoa. whoa. From the bottom of the ocean all the way to the surface. That's cool. There's even volcanoes at the North Pole under the ice. Whoa. That's crazy. Benny. Are volcanoes good for Earth? Yes. Why is that? Because volcanoes have lava in them. Volcanoes have lava in them, yes. Volcanic material makes the most fertile soil. People plant food in lava after it cools down. It has produced abundant food and even fostered whole civilizations into existing. What is civilizations? Civilizations are a group of people that were living together. The loudest sound on Earth is a volcano. It was a volcano called Caractal, and when it erupted, it released 200 megatrons of energy. It was in 1883 and it released the equivalent of 15,000 nuclear bombs worth of energy. That's very strong. That's very strong. It killed 36,000 people. And the most deadly eruption ever was Mount Tambora in Indonesia. And guess how many people did it kill? Estimates are 70,000 to 250,000 people. That's a lot. Cool, 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 quiz time. Uh-oh, quiz time. What's the tallest volcano in the solar system? I'm going to guess it's Mount Fuji. It's a volcano on Mars. It's Olympus Mons, and it's two and a half times taller than Mount Everest, the highest mountain on Earth. That's giant. That is huge. Those, those volcanoes are gigantic. Definitely gigantic. Bigger than a Brachiosaurus. Bigger than a Brachiosaurus. Volcanoes can erupt <coughs> 55 kilometers in the air. And it's very important that volcanoes can erupt that high because when Earth first formed, it didn't have an atmosphere and gases from volcanoes formed our first atmosphere, which made it so that we could live on it or else it wouldn't be habitable and we wouldn't be alive. So you can thank your nearest volcano. Thank you. How did the Earth form? 
Paul Benny. I think that might be a podcast on its own. That would take a lot to explain, I think. And we could discover about it. Because I don't really know for sure. Before I say goodbye, we have a couple more facts to learn about. Maleo birds, they do something very interesting with volcanoes. They bury their eggs in the sand near volcanoes to keep them warm. Because volcanoes are so hot. Then they don't have to sit on their eggs. They just let the volcano keep them warm. How high up? Do you think it will be so the volcano lava doesn't go on them? Hopefully not near an erupting volcano. Maybe just an active volcano. What's an active volcano? Active means there's regular activity. Dormant means there's been recent activity, but the volcano is currently quiet. And extinct means it's been so long since the last eruption that it's unlikely to ever erupt again. So an active volcano could have lava coming out of it, or it could have lava almost coming out of it. I hope you enjoyed this week's podcast. On volcanoes. Thanks for listening. We really appreciate everybody. And make sure to send us an email at... kidsdiscoverypodcast.gmail.com And we'll see you next week. I will pick the next topic. Yeah, it's Benny's turn to pick the next topic. So strap in, folks. It's going to be a wild one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.